did 215 calories on the Stairmaster. Usually not what I do, usually I go on the treadmill and usually I do 300. Uh, given my current state, um, that's what I've been doing for the past week or two uh, for cardio and that's been going consistently well, but I was short for time today, uh, even too short for time, I couldn't really do hit or anything like that, so I just kept it kind of medium to high intensity, pretty average speed, I didn't really change it that much. I tried a couple of times but because I did leg day, uh, speeding up and trying to do hit basically, um, <laughs> my quads couldn't take it, and brings me to my next point, was training legs and I actually skipped carbs, believe it or not, I skipped <laughs> working out these little chicken fillets right here because um yeah i was short for time and prioritizing cardio over carbs was something that i needed to do this light is not the best so yeah i improvised and prioritized cardio but whilst doing cardio and whilst doing stem master specifically this is why i chose to do a stem master um i actually had my heels hanging off each step so that a lot of emphasis was put on my calves as opposed to my quads um, I kind of went back and forth from pushing from my heel to pushing through my um, not my calf, the ball of my foot, but that on its own was basically a calf workout. So, point is, if you have a similar situation where maybe you go into the gym and you only have like an hour, hour and a half, and there's just not enough time to get in a good workout and cardio, um, you obviously don't want to shorten your weightlifting too much, your resistance training, because obviously keeping muscle, um, training your muscle is just as important as cardio whilst you're in a dieting phase and just in general really because <laughs> if you always did that then you wouldn't really grow or anything like that and you'd probably lose a bit of um, muscle so yeah point is if you can improvise and change the way you're doing things slightly to make things work then do what you can am i in the shot yes am i good to go <laughs> yes okay all right guys while I was at work, this got delivered, got a BPI package as you can see. I ordered a a stack, I got a weight loss stack because obviously at the moment I'm cutting and I'm trying to lose weight. Um, haven't actually tried any BPI stacks so I figured I'd give them a go. I think it comes with protein, BCAAs and pre-workout as well. But also because of the current deal that they got going on, when you spend over I think it was like £75, uh, which is what the stack came to, like around that much. Um, you get a free snapback as well, so hopefully in this box is a free snapback. Um, even though I don't really wear snapbacks, but I might see how I look with one on. <laughs> Decided whether or not I want to wear it. Right. Oh my god. They've actually sent me quite a lot of stuff, so got a few different sachets of the whey. Got whey HD here, peanut butter, ice cream bar. It's a new flavour, never tried that, so give you guys a review on that after I've tried that. I love this, they always send me a shake whenever I order something. So I've got like six of these downstairs now. So I've honestly done what to do. <laughs> but they're handy little shakers. Uh, here's a snapback that I told you about. Pretty nice design, black and white. Big fan of black and white as you can tell. It's like half my wardrobe. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if that suits me or not, I should put it in that. <laughs> I feel like I'm more of a dad hat guy than a snapback. I feel like this is a bit too cool for me, I'm more of a dad. Does it suit me or do I look like an absolute idiot? <laughs> Be honest. Hey. Don't all the cool kids wearing backwards? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Looks worse, doesn't it? Okay, don't worry. Anyway, that's what I got with that. Ordered Way HD again. This is a different one to the one that I had, but there was no choice in what type of protein that you had uh, with the stack, so I just went wait for Way HD. Don't know if I told you that this before, but all the different ways that they have are actually very similar. I think it's literally just the amount of carbs and fat that's in there along with the protein, so this one is probably slightly higher than the ISO way, uh, sorry, the ISO HD which I usually get. So I went for the chocolate cookie flavour, because I really just want to experiment with all the different flavours that this company offers, um, and give you guys my honest opinion. But so far so good with everyone I've tried, definitely with their BCAAs and pre-workouts. Um, went for the same pre-workout that I had before, blueberry lemon ice, and then was very excited to try this. Waiting until it was actually in stock again. It's the sour candy BCAAs. So last time I had the, I think it was blueberry lemonade, something like that, and that one's really nice. But this one probably will have a bit more of a sour kick, hence the sour candy title. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try that tonight in my big bottle, wherever that is. And then they've sorted me out with another BPI T-shirt, which are very cosy. 
and well fitted and they shaft the guns perfectly. That's my stack, about to take some pre-workout and go meet Billy at the gym to train back and possibly shoulders, not sure yet. So yeah, see you guys in the gym. Alright, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another workout commentary. Now I didn't actually end up training with Billy but I still managed to get a good uh, back and shoulder workout in. So started off with uh, the C2K rows. Usually I'd actually start off my back workouts with a lat pull down, but I figured I'd start with rows today, see how my back felt, see how the pump felt, and it was a nice change of pace. And I found that starting with rows, um, obviously being quite a lower trap dominant um, kind of movement because you're protracting your scapula and then retracting it as you row. So you'd actually notice that when I'm on the eccentric, I'm leaning forward. So not only am I protracting my shoulder blades, so opening them up, pushing them forward, um, fighting the weight that whole time so you can stretch the muscle fibers out, um, but I'm also leaning forward so that I can get a full stretch on my lats as well, so getting the most out of exercises as much as you can, so you're targeting as many different areas of your back with each exercise, so did that, then went on to another row, um, doing rows first, getting them out of the way, then going on to pull downs, with the other row variation using a isolateral machine, the hammer strength one that I usually do, doing them standing, making sure that my glutes are engaged, my lower back's engaged and I'm pressed against the pad so that I'm as stable as I can be to actually pull the weight um, just with my lats, so just with my back muscle, not using too much momentum or anything like that unless I absolutely have to on the last few kind of cheat reps. Um, but yeah, those went quite well, then went on to the pull downs, so very lat dominant not so much as the lower trap involved in this because of the way that you're moving the weight, bringing it from above you uh, down to like your collarbone area. So again, started with a bilateral exercise using both sides at the same time, um, but I actually did it on this isolateral machine, so doing both sides individually, but actually moving the weight with both sides at the same time, so <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. Um, and then went on to isolateral after that, so doing one at a time, trying to keep things as even as we can, doing a mixture of bilateral, isolateral and unilateral movements. Fourth exercise I actually went on to an upper row. I used the one of the leg press variations in this gym. Not everyone's gym has this type of machine, but the point is that a machine that's basically meant for a certain muscle group, certain exercise, can sometimes be used for other things. You just gotta be creative with how you're moving them. But yeah, try those, they're really nice. Notice that with the one arm row with the other leg machine, I was actually slightly twisting at the hips to get a full stretch on the lats and then pulling back through the elbow, um, allowing my body to naturally go back to that neutral position and squeezing the lat at the very top. Then moved on to shoulders, I started with those standing barbell military presses. These are kind of like doing them in a Smith machine in the sense that you are pushing against a kind of fixed plane so the barbell is not shaking around as much, meaning it doesn't really use as many stabiliser muscles, but notice I'm actually doing it on just a uh, squat rack using a free bar, so I picked up the weight, made sure that the the like barbell catches where you'd usually pick up the bar from uh, wasn't in the way, so putting it below chest and below shoulder height, and yeah, just pushing the bar against the rack, but also pushing upwards, so leaning forward ever so slightly just so you can keep the bar on the squat rack the entire time, going up and down, up and down. Then just moved on to another shoulder press machine, keeping your wrist straight for both of these shoulder press exercises, keeping your scapula protracted and having your shoulders in front of everything, making sure that you're using those more than anything else. Then moved on to a superset to finish up shoulders, uh, did some seated lateral raises and then straight on to some seated front raises with the dumbbells again. Keeping them really controlled, nice and slow, good tempo, making sure the muscle's under constant tension and working the targeted muscle as best as we can. So that was the workout, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed the rest of this video, and I'll catch you in the next clip. You guys want to see my cardio here? Actually, it's more like hat here. I was wearing my snapback in the gym, my BPR one, um, did cardio as well, because I reach that point in the gym in my workout all the time where my hair just goes like dripping with sweat, waxes in it as well, so it just goes everywhere, it's all crazy, so I figured to save some embarrassment, I'll put a hat on it. And then, you know, you get like half a through cardio, you get sweaty and you think, doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Just take it off. Anyway, got home, now cooking food. 
was trying to decide what to eat because I actually got quite good macros left. It's only half ten right now, uh, Friday night as well, so I don't have to worry about going to sleep particularly early. Um, I'm just going to cook some food now, make sure I'm all set, go upstairs and watch Harry Potter because me and Jasmine have been watching uh, Harry Potter from number one and we're going to probably watch up until Deathly Hallows Part 2 to be honest. I think at the moment we're on Prisoner of Azkaban or something like that, the third one. We watched Chamber of Secrets last night, so see if we can keep up this uh, routine of watching one each night. Um, I'm actually guilty of falling asleep <laughs> um, towards the end of the first two because I've been so tired from like work and gym and everything. Um, but yeah, still been managing to get the workouts in at the cardio, which is what's important. Staying consistent with it. Grinding, as some people say, it's quite a cringy thing to say, but it's true. Um, to get results with certain things, you do have to do things repeatedly, the same things, like day in, day out. Anyway, what I'm eating right now is I'm gonna have one of these pasta big things. I'm trying to decide what to eat. And by the way, this is not mine, unfortunately. <laughs> that was here when I got home. I think it's been eaten already. Ooh, maybe not. Anyway, can't eat that. Um, yeah, gonna have one of these because the fat is about as much as I've got left over, which is perfect. Carbs are literally the exact amount I've got left over, which is perfect. And then the protein's about 10 grams less than I have left over. But I think what I'm gonna do is literally cook like one or two boiled eggs, just have them aside with that, and then that way my macro is completed. So, actually gonna leave the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you enjoyed the full day of eating, which was the previous video, because I'm actually going to start having refeed days every Sunday, uh, starting this Sunday, so eight weeks out as of this Saturday. Um, so Sunday going to be my first refeed day. I'm going to have one each week, which is going to help keep my metabolism quite fast and keep the weight loss consistent. Um, because I haven't really noticed a drop in the like weight loss, or like the weight loss is slowing down. Um, but I've been getting really, really hungry, like no matter what I eat. Um, I think a refeed day. Although it speeds up your metabolism, I feel like it might help me with hunger. But anyway, yeah, gonna do a full day of eating for a refi day, so look out for that. I'm gonna end the video here now for this one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.